Hello family, hope you're having a great day. I'm so happy to be here on another video. Fam, it's getting really close. I'm at 36 weeks pregnant today. <gasps> Look at that, here's my huge bump. I'm actually feeling really good. If you see me bouncing, it's because I'm sitting on a birth ball. Um, this is like the most comfortable thing to be sitting on. It just feels good to like move my hips around. So as you can see by the title of this video, today I want to share with you my mother's blessing experience. And the reason why I want to make this video is because I feel like it's a beautiful celebration for every mama to be. I hope that every mama to be can experience this beautiful ceremony. And I think it's also something different too. A lot of the energy around pregnancy is around the baby. The baby shower is a celebration for the baby. All of the gifts are for the baby, which is wonderful. But I believe that it's also important to just take a moment to celebrate the mom and recognize her and just love on her. And that is what this ceremony is all about. So I'm not exactly sure where all these uh, rituals in the ceremony come from. I, I feel like they're from different places of the world, um, but I do know that the Navajos used to, like it comes from there. So don't quote me on this. I don't know much about it. I just, um, when I was pregnant, I started looking at YouTube videos here of people that, that had done mother's blessings. And I was like, oh my gosh, I wanna have one. And I kinda had it in my heart, but I hadn't told anyone. And then this one day I was, at a friend's birthday and my friend Rebecca she's like oh I think she asked me like are you or are you having a mother's blessing or do you want to have a mother's blessing or something like that and I said yes I would love to have a mother's blessing and then she I think she asked me if anyone was like planning it or if like I was already planning it or something and I, was, and I said no and she instantly said I I want to I want to do this for you like I want to help you plan this and I was like oh my gosh yes I was so happy because I really really wanted one so she the next day immediately like messaged me some questions that she wanted to know to start planning it and then I made a list of the woman that I wanted to be at the mother's blessing so basically after that she kind of her she took it from there her and angie another friend they planned it together and i wasn't really involved in any of the preparation like they would ask me some random questions here and there like for example angie asked me what my love language was and um and they did ask me like if, the, if there was anything specific that i wanted and i know there's like when you do a mother's blessing there's so many rituals that you can do i'll tell you the ones that we did and then I'll share other ones as well that you can do. Basically, I just said, do whatever you want. Like, I'm so open to anything. The only thing I did ask for was like a cacao drink. So I really wanted a cacao drink and we had that and it was delicious. So they planned it all, got all the women together and then the day came and I filmed this before. Today I am having my mother's way, a mother's blessing. A mother's way blessing is more focused on the mother as she embarks motherhood, as she goes from a maiden to a mother. And I have no idea what to expect. I have no idea what they're doing, um, but I'm just so excited. I'm a little nervous too, because I feel like I'm gonna be crying. Like I'm already crying already <laughs> because it's just, it's just a lot, you know? It's, I like receiving gifts. Like I feel like I'm good at receiving gifts, but I'm really bad at receiving like acts of service. And for me, this is like a beautiful act of, of service, of love. And anyways, I'm just really, really excited. I tend to be a social butterfly. I love to be, to socialize. I love to be around people. I feel like I'm a lot of an extrovert. Like I feed off of people's energies and having them just come together to celebrate me and my baby girl is just, a beautiful beautiful blessing and and it makes me want to return that favor so i entered the room and i was just bawling like i was crying so much obviously tears of joy but it was just so meaningful to me um for several reasons one is because they the fact that they rebecca and angie took the time to plan this for me and to organize it and like you know everything getting all all the stuff that, that they needed to get for it and then all the women that were there 
um, fairly new friends that I've been making over the last few months since I've moved to Austin. We're just like all sitting in a circle um, on pillows and then in the middle was like this beautiful rug with these roses and flowers and crystals and it was just magical. It was in front of this big huge window overlooking the countryside and dripping springs and then there was like this um this bench for me to sit at in the middle and just seeing them all there and how beautiful everything was laid out i was like oh my gosh this is too much like i was so happy it's like exactly it's like what i wanted but it was so much better than i had ever that i could have even imagined so i sat down and then i just said some words of like basically thank you thanking everyone for being there and um and just how important this was for me and how much it meant for me for them to be there well the whole day i was like really setting the intention to just receive and i feel so blessed so extremely blessed so grateful Seriously, Austin is just, there's there's a beautiful community out here of people who truly just want to be there for you. And it makes me want to be a better friend and like be there for other people as well. Um, genuinely, you know, it's not like a fake thing. It's like real. So we sat down and then they started passing the cacao drink. So they filled a lot of mugs for all of us with um, the cacao drink and we all got the mug, like we passed it around. So the mug that you got, it was touched by everyone and every, it had everyone's energy. So we took the mug and then um, we did a little prayer meditation and then took the first sip together. And then after that, we uh, began, oh yeah, doing intentions. So we all went around the room and set an intention. I set my intention for the evening and for just my birth and general and then they said their intention for me or for the evening as well and then after that um we opened it up i think that was after we did the the fear fear clearing so they wanted to open up the space for me to express any fears that i had around birth or around motherhood or entering this new chapter so it was really beautiful because i i did feel like it was a safe space for me to for me to talk and to say it and so i shared my fears with them <laughs> and it was just really nice to have them just listen listen to me and then offer their thoughts or advice and then i think after that that was when the moms so there were some moms in the room and they offered their either just like a like an advice or encouragement or one of them read this beautiful poem um and they just shared what what they had learned either from their birth or from being a mom which was really really nice and just empowering and very inspirational to me after that uh, we passed this uh, red yarn around and I have it here around my wrist. So we passed the red yarn and everyone wrapped it around their left wrist. And then at the end, we took some scissors and cut it and then wrapped it around our wrist. And the red yarn represents my baby's umbilical cord. Once my baby's born, they're gonna cut the red yarn and they will basically take me with them, al along with them these, these next few weeks. Um, and it's just a remembrance of my baby to be born. After that, everyone presented a gift. So it wasn't just like a shirt or makeup. It's not like those kinds of gifts. Um, they brought these, most of them brought uh, these beautiful stones, uh, crystals. So they shared their crystals with me and the meaning behind them, which was very, very meaningful. And they're so pretty. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. Another friend gave me this mother candle. Um, another friend gave me this really, really nice, like non-toxic candle, which I have in here, which I thought was really cool because I realized that, you guys, a lot of my candles are like, that have fragrance and stuff. So this was 
The, the brand is called Fontana Candle Company and it smells really good and it's all oh non-toxic and made with essential oils. So that was really nice. Um, some other, other ones gave me some sage. They wrote me letters, like, oh my gosh. I was just like crying, like the whole time. It was very, very emotional for me. And then after that, after each one presented their gifts, then um, we went on to doing affirmations. So everyone got a piece of paper and we passed some markers around and everyone wrote an affirmation for me. So the idea is that I will hang these affirmations in my room and I, or in the room where I will give birth and just say them out loud to myself or repeat them and I'm gonna hang them up so I have them before, during, and after the birth. That was something else that I really, really loved. And uh, this was probably like my favorite part, I think, <laughs> these affirmations. And then each one of them came up to share their affirmations with me, um, which was really beautiful too. And while they were sharing their affirmations, then we did some belly painting, which was fun. So I just lifted my dress, sat on the on the couch, and they came and drew on my belly, which was so fun and cute. And they did like hearts and stars and a crown and jewels and stuff, and everyone just came to love on me um, while we ate these delicious raw vegan cakes that were so, so good. Um, from this girl, I'll put her Instagram here. She's in Austin, um, so go check her out if you're in Austin and want some delicious raw vegan cakes. She is the girl to go to. Um, so we did that, and that's it. So other types of rituals I want to share with you that that they do. I have a friend who just had a baby, and she had her mother's blessing. I unfortunately was not able to attend, but I do know that they did uh, foot baths. So they washed her feet with like rose petals and then massaged her feet. Um, they also did henna on her belly. Uh, one of the girls like sang. Um, other rituals is like they can do just massages on the mama. There's several things that you can do. And so you just pick whatever you want for your mother's blessing. So yeah, I just wanted to share this with you because it was a beautiful experience. I hope that every mom-to-be can experience this because it's just, it's really, really meaningful. And coming from having, feeling that support from other women, from your sisters, your tribe is like, wow, you feel so supported uh, stepping into this new chapter, into this new stage, or even if it's your second or third child, it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's a new life that you adapt to with having another kid. So if you have a pregnant friend or family member, share this video with them, ask them if they want a mother's blessing, or if you are pregnant, then share this video with your bestie and tell them to plan it for you because you will absolutely love it. It was so fun. And if you have ever had a mother's blessing or have ever attended one, let us know in the comments below and let us know what were some of the rituals and the ceremony so that we can all get more tips or ideas for our mother's blessing or next mother's blessing or whatever that is. I love you guys so much. Send you a big, huge hug. Thank you again to all the women who attended my mother's blessing. And <laughs> I love you. I love you too, baby. Thank you to all the beautiful women who attended my mother's blessing. I love each and every one of you and send you a big hug. Mwah. Mucho amor. Bye.